Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on the uh, AI sight perception. So when this enemy character, enemy NPC character see the player, he will equip the weapon. When the player goes out of his sight, he will just put back the weapon. So this is the start of enemy AI system we are going to work on for this side scroll again. So here is the demonstration. Now uh, the enemy can't see the player. So if I go here, as you can see, and we equip the weapon. So if I go back, he put back the weapon like that. So this is the simple part I'm going to cover today. All right. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. All right. So to start working with the uh, enemy AI, well, uh, let's first uh, make the view of the player a little bigger because I think the camera is too close to the character so therefore we can't uh, see much of a place much of the area around the character so yeah let's go here and this spring um, let's try something like 700 I think this size is better okay now what I want to do is well I'll put the enemy character here and when player go there when the enemy character see the player he should equip the weapon and uh, yeah basically that's it so ready to fight all right so let's first uh, start with the AI vision all right let's open the NPC character and here first we need let's create an AI controller class AI NPC right now here let's add a, a perception component and under sense configs let's add uh, AI site config so yeah as I know we don't have access to these set the characters as uh, enemies or neutrals or friendlies in blueprint level so therefore I'll set it to detect all so let's try a workaround for that now under on perception uh, which one I should use Let's try this on target perception updated and let's let's break this what do we have here okay successfully sensed uh, let's do a print Mm, like this 
I just try to get the name of the actor uh, seen by this NPC character. So if this is successful, successfully sensed, then this should be seen. Otherwise, this should be not seen. So let's do a select here. Can see. Can't see anymore. right and let's make it keep it in the screen like 10 seconds all right now we need to use this ai npc on this npc character so instead of this under phone instead of ai controller class uh, the default ai controller i'm going to use ai npc right okay now let's see yeah now we got the notification player can see so the enemy can see the player character here and player can't see anymore okay cool All right. Well, it's a little bit unclear the location. This enemy is starting to see the player. So therefore, let's do something like this. I think we should be able to see uh, the uh, spot. Oh, it's still not. Okay. Let's increase this to 900. Cool. Oh, it's still not enough. Right. Now we can see. If we go here, all right now the enemy can see the player now can't now can now can't now can now can okay now we need a way to see if the other character this guy is see as an enemy or as a teammate but uh, okay let's not do that here so for now let's have a variable like this that had a boolean variable can see enemy no and uh, enemy detected. Okay. Let's set this with this successfully sensed value. So, note that here uh, we implement this considering only there is the player character, there are no other characters in the scene. So, we will extend the system to support multiple characters simultaneously in the screen in the screen in the scene uh, with multiple npc characters all right so for now only these two characters so okay let's keep it simple uh, now if this is true uh, we need to yeah get controlled for so we need a we need to send a signal to equip the weapon we have such an event let's see
okay this is for sheet weapon uh, equip weapon right here we only have a uh, input event input action to equip the weapon so okay this is the equip weapon logic uh, uh, let's collapse this into a macro so that we can reuse this for the AI characters as well equip weapon f okay now let's expand this node it's just that all right now using this bpi melee combat interface we have already defined uh, let's okay we have this sheet weapon can we change this to dog weapon and I set an input they can get equip all right now we might have some problems here we will have to do some refactoring yeah toggle weapon event have a branch if it is true we should do this no if it is false we should sheet weapon so now where do we use this It has been replaced here cool that's better now let's remove this and if this is true we should simply equip the weapon like this okay uh, well I think we should put this part also inside this equip weapon macro because we should not attempt to re-equip if we have already equipped the weapon so if we have equipped we just skip all these actions in the middle right okay now from the NPC character uh, let's call toggle weapon if enemy is detected equip the weapon otherwise put it back so that's the simple command we need to give to the NPC character all right let's see if that works right as you can see here the enemy equipped the weapon if I go back you can see he put back the weapon uh -huh. uh, let's move this guy a little closer see 
okay if we go back he put back all right great all right so let's stop that this episode here and in the next episode let's continue to implement uh, ai attacking ai blocking ai going to the towards the player character and etc so yeah thanks for watching so project files will be available here in the patreon page and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club and see you in another episode goodbye and this episode is